Hello everyone, how are you guys doing today? My name is Saris and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be reacting to Professor George Carlin. Uh, people are boring, so without any delays, let's get to it. Here we go. And it's bad for you. <laughs> now, you wouldn't know it from some of the things I've said over the years, but I like people. <laughs> I do. I like people, but I like them in short bursts. <laughs> I don't like people for extended periods of time. I'm all right with them for a little while, but once you get up past around minute, minute and a half, <laughs> I gotta get the fuck out of there. And my reason for this, my reason is for one that you may share possibly, I have a very low tolerance level for stupid bullshit. That's all. Stupid bullshit. How are you doing? And everyone wants to tell you their stupid bullshit. And a lot of them don't know when to stop talking. You ever run into that guy? Doesn't know when to stop talking. Just continues running at the mouth like verbal diarrhea. <laughs> Don't know when the conversation's over. Stupid, trivial shit you don't care anything about. Things you're not even remotely interested in. Did yeah. I tell you about my mom and dad? <laughs> well, my mom and dad went on vacation down to Mammoth Cave, Kentucky. This is about six years ago, I think. <laughs> Seemed like it was six, about six years, years ago. Six or seven, possibly seven, could be. <laughs> yeah. Somewhere in there, six, seven, more than six, less than seven. <laughs> Let's call it six and a half. So my mom and dad went on vacation to Mammoth Cave, Kentucky, and my dad found a big rock. What he thought was a big rock, turns out it was a dinosaur turd. A petrified dinosaur turd, 27 pounder. You know, now that I think of it, it might have been eight years ago. <laughs> that would have been close to Y2K, wouldn't it? Remember Y2K? Whatever happened? Everybody's all worried about that. Nothing ever happened. <laughs> Big fuss. Nothing ever happened. You know? God, that's strange, you know? Oh. So let's say, we'll say it's eight, eight years. Eight, it was either eight or five. <laughs> Keep so changing. my dad gave my mom this big turd. He said, here, mom, this is a big dinosaur turd. Put it in your purse and take that home. My mom said, dad, I don't think this is a dinosaur turd. This thing is still warm. <laughs> Whoever dropped this thing is still walking around in here. And we better get the fuck out of this cave. Nine years ago. <laughs> Nine. I know it was nine, because my <laughs> wife was pregnant with our first boy, Mahmoud ibn El Saeed Ben Salam. <laughs> and he's ten now. <laughs> or is he? He's eleven. Maybe he's eleven. He's either eleven or five. <laughs> and while all this is going on, you're searching through your mind for something diplomatic and tactful and graceful that you can say to help end the conversation. And all I can ever come up with is, blow it out your ass! 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 Out your ass. Oh. This is absolutely brilliant. You know? But you can't say that. You, good manners don't permit it. You have to find another way. And I go to body language. I try to use my body language to show that the conversation's over. I find myself leaning at a 45 degree angle, <laughs> trying to indicate the direction I'd like to go. <laughs> this person this way. just shut the fuck up. <laughs> and that I might even give him a verbal cue. Surgery. <laughs> surgery. I'm late for surgery. I'm having my ears sewn shut. <laughs> this is absolutely you know? brilliant. Yeah. Same people on the phone. Same people on the phone. Don't know when to hang up. Don't know when the conversation's over. Dumb, trivial shit. Dumb questions. So what are you guys going to do five summers from now? <laughs> we haven't made any plans. Marge wants to go to the beach. The kids kind of like it at the lake. And I want to go to the mountains. Grandma wants to visit her sister in Frog Balls, Arkansas. <laughs> 
How about you? Have you made any plans? It's never too early to make plans. We're going to Norway in 2025. <laughs> Did you know that up until the 1950s, Norway's economy was based largely on fishing? But now, thanks to the expansion of the world economy and increased, improved drilling tech, yeah, and so once again, you're searching through your mind for the right thing to say to help end the conversation. Shut the fuck up, comes to mind. <laughs> Hello. Uh, blow it out your, uh, how about uh, shut your fucking pie hole, might be good. Yeah. Or if he prefers cake, shut your fucking cake hole. <laughs> But these things, you don't want to, you can't say those things. And, and you can't use body language on the phone. Well, you can always amuse yourself, you know. <laughs> <laughs> or if it's your mother, you show your mother respect, you put her on speakerphone. <laughs> But that doesn't move the conversation along. You have to find another trick. And I go to tone of voice. Do you ever use your tone of voice to try to talk them into a soft landing? You try yeah. to coax the person toward the end. Right. Good. Okay. Good. All yeah. right, then. Good. Right. Okay. Good. Okay. Okay. All right. Oh, fuck. There he goes again. <laughs> I didn't know. Don't you remember my neighbor with the burns on 90% of her body? Well, she burned the other 10% now. <laughs> she was lighting a fart and her bush caught fire. <laughs> this is different. This is different from usual. I like it. Listen, li listen, Reverend. <laughs> Re Reverend, Reverend, I, I hate to be rude, but... I just took a three and a half hour shit. <laughs> and I'm bleeding from the asshole. <laughs> well, I don't have any Mercurochrome. <laughs> yes, I, yeah, I'll put a Snoopy Band-Aid on it. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, thank you. You do that for me. Yes, say a prayer for my asshole. Thank you very much. <laughs> you have to resort to these tactics because many people do not understand what a phone call should be or what yeah. a phone call is. Ideally, a phone call is the brief exchange of a few vital pieces of information. That's correct. This is a phone call. Hey, Steve, what time's the circle jerk start tonight? <laughs> 10 o'clock. Okay, listen, I'm going to be a little bit late. You'll have to start without me. Oh, don't worry, I'll catch up. I'm eating a whole bunch of oysters and watching a horny movie. <laughs> uh, it's called Tarzan Fucks a Zebra. <laughs> Russell Crowe. Well, it's kind of a fantasy. Right now, Renee Zellweger is blowing a unicorn. <laughs> That's a phone call. Exactly. It should not be a two-and-a-half-hour harangue of your third cousin describing her mailman's liposuction. God, people are fucking boring. People are just fucking boring. So, that was George Carlin, People Are Boring. And you know what, this is one of the funniest bits I've seen George Carlin do, apart from that, uh, what do you call it, the rules and the seven dirty words. Uh, it's just absolutely brilliant. I really, really loved it. The whole concept, the whole idea of people being boring and how the conversation goes on. And you, it's like, it's like Bill Burr once said, uh, it's a completely different joke, but he said, you get to the point when you feel like your newborn baby, baby and your head, you can't control your head. It's going all over the place. That's how you feel when you're talking to somebody who literally just won't fucking shut up and start blabbering on about some shit that doesn't fucking matter or it's just so uh, so brilliant and the thing is I am an absolute absolute horrible person when I come to phone conversation I never know what to say to people because whenever I make a call it has to do with something that need to be done uh, whether it's making a plan or uh, arranging a meeting or calling a plumber whatever it is to do with a very specific person or very specific task but people just can't fucking shut up. I never know how to speak to people, man. There's barely one or two people I can literally speak on phone for quite a while. And it's mainly them talking. And I don't mind it. But the majority, I just can't stand it. I'm like, all right, yeah, I'm going to pass the phone. Go by. See ya. You know what I mean? But it was absolutely brilliant, man. I really loved it. And I hope you did too. If you did, like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment. Also, check out my George Carlin playlist. There are about 13 other videos. So check it out. Also, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Links are in the description down below. And I'll see you guys next time.